Hiya, yeah, how you doing? Jimmy here on a lovely sunny day in Whitley Bay with the familiar St Mary's Lighthouse behind me and I turn that way uh, you might be able to see Whitley Bay but I'm not going to be here for very long I'm just setting off on my next little road trip and this one actually isn't that little it's uh, it's the normal thing I don't know where I'm going to go and I don't know for how long I do know some of it but not all of it and I'm just about to head off now and the only thing I know is I'm going that way as opposed to my normal videos that are that way now this video is going to be brand new I've never been to any of these places before not only have I not filmed there I've never been to them so um, I'm going to head off now and I'll check in later on tonight and I'll let you know more about the, the trip and I'll let you know how far I got. Well, I've just arrived in Chester. I've done about 200 and I don't know, just over 200 miles. And uh, it's getting on a bit because I didn't leave on time. I had loads of flies. Because um, my van wouldn't start, and that's unheard of. My van normally doesn't miss a beat. And I went to fill it up. Pulled in, turned it off, went and got something, filled it up, come out, wouldn't start. Had to get the uh, the people at the garage to give me a push out the way of the pump so I could put the jump leads on and get it started. And then I uh, called my sisters and uh, lo and behold it wouldn't start again. Now, I don't know why, but I decided to come anyway, so fingers crossed for tomorrow morning. Um, I'm in a fantastic place. Actually, with this stressful day, <laughs> I'm having a cold one. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm on the banks of a canal. Um, I'm trying not to fall in. And my van's just parked uh, up the back there. Uh, lovely place. Seems quite quiet at the, at the minute. Um, hopefully it stays like that. Right, this trip, I said I would tell you more about the trip. <clears throat> Say up. Just let the people get out the way. Um, this is a bit bigger trip than I normally do. It's, uh, as I said before, it's very flexible. I, I don't know where I'm going or for how long apart from four days um, the 22nd of July I've got to be in New Quay New Quay in Wales that is not New Quay in Cornwall and I'm going I booked a bit of a holiday with a group of people that I don't know I've never met them and it's to go paddle boarding and try and Oh, it's gone dark there. Go paddle boarding and try and spot some dolphins. New Key is well known for having a lot of dolphins. And um, Jimmy's going to see if he can spot some. So, uh, fingers crossed for that. I'm looking forward to it. But I've never been to Wales in my life before. So, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. And I hope you'll look. Um, Excuse me for not trying to uh, pronounce all the Welsh names. So never mind. I'm I'm gonna I might have a couple more of these and uh, probably something to eat. It's absolutely roast, and I hope I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight.
There you go. There you go. Come on. Morning. You all right? Good morning. It's day two. And far from the odd pigeon. Had a uh, very peaceful night. In fact, I'm the only one here. It's still early in the morning. A um, couple of runners, a couple of cyclists, a couple of ducks. Um, haven't tried the van yet. <laughs> I'm going to move on shortly and uh, I'm not even sure where I'm going to go. Uh, Colway Bay, uh, landed no somewhere like that. Um, so I'll get back to you later on and let you know where I got to. Well, I had breakfast at Colwyn Bear. I hope I'm saying that right because I'm sure I've seen it spelt different ways. It's different on the map to what it is on the same posts. I, I'm pretty sure it's Colwyn Bay. That's what I'm going to say anyway. And lovely place, absolutely fantastic place for paddle boarding, but they didn't allow overnight camping or overnight stairs. Uh, so anyway, I had breakfast there overlooking the sea. It was really nice. And now I've just arrived at Landudno and I've just got parked up and apart from a little fight with the uh, parking machine everything seems to be going all right I wanted to pay for 24 hours or 48 hours even and I thought you had to do it with the app on your phone which I really didn't want to do I'm not I'm not that good with tech things. I wanted to pay cash, so it does give you an option to pay cash, but it won't take more than 12 hours. So I'm paid up to half past 12 tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna have to get up at 12 o'clock and put some more money in. I'm gonna have a word with somebody when I get into the station and see if there's a way around that. But anyway, I'm just going for a bit explore. I'll get back to you later. Well, I'm just having a bit scout about and I've managed to get myself to the seafront and it looks a lovely place, it's dead clean and loads of places. I definitely think I'll stay here about 48 hours. Uh, it might not look very sunny because it's not very sunny, but it's really warm and the camera probably won't pick it up, but on the top of that, hill over there there's some cable cars so if I stay here for 48 hours I'll try and find out where they go from and maybe have a trip in a cable car can't believe it there's nobody in swimming it's lovely warm day and the sea's flat as a pancake it's quite clean and there's nobody in if this was Whitley Bay there would be loads in Right, as you can see, I've just popped over at the Blackpool. Well, you'd think so. It's actually land, doesn't know still. But it uh, just reminds me of Blackpool. As I turn the camera on, a car comes past, like always. So it's low. Get a canny view from up here. Uh, I'm trying to find the cable cars. Not for today. I'll probably, I'll probably go tomorrow. I'm just having a bit of a walk. But uh, lovely view from up here. I think the cable cars are just round this corner. Well, I've found them. Have you seen the queue? 
I'm gonna uh, find out what time it opens and I'll probably come back tomorrow. There's the one. Well, you know what I think I might do now? Because I've walked a canny way and I'm on my holidays. Have I told you that? Uh, I'm on my holidays. So what I might do is I might try and find a pub with a beer garden. That's a good idea. Good morning. Day three. Lovely quiet night again. And the parking issue that I had I went in and seen somebody in the station and uh, I said the uh, customer services man in the little hut in the car park hasn't been here for five years <coughs> so no good waiting for him uh, he said he doesn't think you can park for 24 hours using cash you've only got to park for a maximum of 12 hours I told him I had paid and that I was covered until half past 12 this morning and I said I would get out get up and come put some more money and he said no you're mad he says nobody will find out the uh you won't be found out till the man comes around and checks and he doesn't start that early so he says I wouldn't put yourself out so uh right I I didn't I, I didn't I wasn't covered through the night but I got up early this morning six o'clock uh to put some more money in and ah uh, it was all black clouds but you want to see it now it's not a cloud in the sky it's all cleared up it's still only up by seven and there's not a cloud in, i can't see a cloud that looking that way i don't know about that way i've got the curtains drawn because it's so bright anyway that's me parking sorted um what am i going to do today uh well, the cable cars don't start till 10 o'clock. So I'm going to have a leisurely breakfast because I'm on my holidays. Did I tell you? Yeah, I'm on my holidays. So I'm going to have a, a leisurely breakfast and then I'm going to have a walk and it's quite a walk to the cable cars and I'll have a bit scout around. I don't know what's at the top. I'll have a bit scout around and then... Um, I'll come back and when I come back I'm going to actually try and pick myself up a battery for the van because I went to move the van last night and it did start but only just and uh, everywhere I'm going to go after after today is going to be more out in the wilds I don't think there's any major places after today well none that I've heard of anyway um, and there's a Halfords just over there. You can actually see it from the car park. So I'm going to go over there. I'm not going to fit it because I don't want to take the chance of disturbing any of the solar setup. But what I can do is just leave the battery in the front and I've got some jump leads. And if, if it doesn't start, I'll put the jump leads on. And if I leave the jump leads on a little while while I'm driving, it'll charge the battery up as well. So I'm going to do that. But I say everything, sorry, I think. Peace of mind. Because I'm every time I go to start it now, I'm wondering if it's going to start. And that's no good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then tomorrow, I'm going to spend the night here again. And then tomorrow, I'm going to move on somewhere else. I love... Uh, I love it here, yeah, it's it's really nice, but I'm going to move on tomorrow. So, I'll take the camera with me on the cable cars, and uh, I'll see you later. Hiya, uh, just doing a sound check and a picture check, because I'm going on the cable cars today, and I'm using the action camera. So, I'm just making sure that everything's working before I go on the cable car because if it doesn't work on the cable car, I've blown it. <laughs> so, I'll just check that and see if that's working. Hey man, the queues are even bigger today. We've seen the queues. Oops, I've 
pulling my goat. You've seen the cues for the deer. I thought the the wind might have put some people off, but it obviously hasn't. Because it's quite a wind today. Never mind, let's get in the queue. Well, I was just reading a sign on my way in and it says this is the longest uh, cable car ride in Britain. It also said today because of the winds, although it doesn't feel that bad, that there was a maximum of two people per, per car. And uh, when I told him it was only me, he stuck these sandbags in. To, to balance the weight out. I think it's to stop it from sw swinging. Oh, cracking view. Oh, quite, quite high now. I've been told not to put the selfie stick out of the cab in case it catches on something. So I'm a good boy. I won't do that. Actually, the pulley wheel looked a bit loose to me when I got on. I think I can hear it squeaking. <laughs> oh, there's the ski. Something to do with ski without the snow. Looks like it's closed though. windy now lovely to hear look at that view fantastic I've tied me I've tied me bit cord so I could don't lose me hat Why the wind's pretty cold up here as well. <laughs> Nearly lost me hat. And again. I know. We're coming into land. Well, I've had a bit of a look around and uh, there's not a great lot to see, mind. But uh, I've had a quick scout about and it's quite windy and quite cold up here. It's much nicer down on the beach. And I only really came for the cable car ride, so I think I'm just gonna go back down.
Good morning. I've got hair fever this morning. I don't know why. It's day four. I'm starting to forget the days already. It's day four. And it's going to be goodbye to Landudno. It's very early. Because um, I went to bed early last night. I must have walked miles yesterday. And last night my feet were aching a bit and uh, legs as well so I watched the DVD in bed and uh, fell asleep I didn't see the end of it anyway I woke up really early this morning and I'm only paid till quarter past six so I thought uh, I might as well go early so I'm gonna leave pretty much early this morning um, I did sort my battery out yesterday and uh, I got it from Halfords, and I don't normally rate Halfords, but they were really good. I was served by somebody called Daniel. Now you probably think I've said that wrong, and probably think it's Daniel or something, but it's not, because I got them to write it out phonetically so that I wouldn't pronounce it wrong. He said it was a, a good old Welsh name, Daniel. He was really good. He uh, service was fantastic of him and he let me uh, join the trade club which saved me 30 odd pound off the battery and I didn't have proof that I was trade and he he wangled it somehow so um thank you uh, Daniel um, and if you're in Landudno and you've got a problem with your van go and see him I'm sure he'll do his best to help you right we're going to move on today and I think it's going to be Bango Bango is that how you say it um, I'm going to call in there and see what it's like anyway and then I'm hoping to be on Puffin Island for the weekend because uh, I don't want to be driving about on the weekend so I want to get to Puffin Island and stay there two or three days if I can Anyway, uh, this uh, is probably a point where I'm going to um, end this video because I'm never going to do this trip in one, even one or two videos. So this is going to be the end of part one and part two will obviously carry on from part one and um, I hope you'll stick around to watch that as well. So thank you for watching part one, hope to see you in part two, you take care.